to come to the masjid. As we make sure that we have wudu, we have to also make sure that our phones are on silent or they're turned off so that we don't disturb people who are praying and we don't disturb ourselves. And you know, a lot of people have so many different types of ringtones. Keep a simple one. Keep a simple one. Don't keep a fancy one because these are all music and they're going to destroy our iman and having something like this in salah is not even healthy. So inshallah, we request everyone to understand and practice on this. We have, as you know, that Sheikh Azhar is visiting us from uh, Pakistan. So inshallah, he will be sharing a few words to request the community to inshallah uh, spare some time and listen to him. Jazakallah khairan. Alhamdulillah wa kafa. Alhamdulillah wa kafa. Wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa amma ba'd. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, Wazaru zahir al-ismi wa batina. That you should leave all those sins that you do outwardly and those sins that you do inwardly. And from this we understand that there are two types of sins. One is the outward sin and the other one is the inward sin. So what is the difference between the two sins? And the scholars have said that the outward sins are those sins that the eye can see. So the outward sin is the sin that the person committing that sin can actually see that sin. For example, drinking alcohol is an outward sin. A person committing this sin can see his sin. A person gambling is also doing an outward sin because this sin can be seen. A person fornicating na'uzubillah is also an outward sin that the person committing that sin can actually see the sin. The inward sins are those sins that not even the person committing that sin can see that sin. It is a condition of the heart. But that condition of the heart is a sin. For example, Arrogance is an inward sin. What is arrogance? Arrogance is that you feel that you are better than others, either because of your wealth, or because of your knowledge, or because of your lineage and your family, or sometimes even because of your worship. For any reason, you feel that you are better than others, it is arrogance. Now it is not something that could be seen. It is just something which is inside of the heart. But it is such a big sin that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, La yadkhulul janna man kana fi qalbihi misqala zarratim min kibr. That that person is not going to enter into jannah even if he has an iota of arrogance inside of him. So there are some sins which are outward that the eye can see. And then there are some sins which are inward, which are the condition of the heart. The, even the eye cannot see. Similarly, hasad or jealousy is a similar sin. And what is it that the person does not like another person excelling or going up in his, you know, uh, in, his, in his worldly affairs or even in his dini affairs. So if a person goes up and if a person is being successful and our hearts does not like it, it is jealousy. And we think that jealousy is okay. But the Prophet ﷺ has said that Jealousy and Iman cannot dwell in one heart. Allahu Akbar. So again, it is just a feeling of the heart that you don't feel good about other people's success, but it is such a big sin that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said that jealousy and Iman cannot dwell in the same heart. In the same way, there is a sin called insincerity 
that a person does amal, he does good deeds, but he does it not for Allah, but for the praises of people and to be seen by people. Again, it is not something that could be seen by others. It is just a feeling of the heart that you worship Allah, but you still at the same time want the people praise you for doing this. It is such a big sin that the Prophet Sallallahu said that the one who does amal, who does worship of Allah to be seen by other has not only done a sin, but he has actually committed shirk. Allahu Akbar. So there are some sins which we do outwardly and there are some sins which we do inwardly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Vazaru zahir al ismi wa batina. Leave all those sins that you do outwardly and all those sins that you do inwardly. Now a final question. How do you leave those sins? And it is very easy to leave these sins. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, that the one who does tawbah for his sins is like the one who has never committed these sins. So if somebody does tawbah for his sins, no matter his sins are more than the ocean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sin. And the tawbah doesn't even have to be very loud. If you have a real remorse, a real guilt in the heart, then that is only enough for all the sins to be omitted. Once the Prophet ﷺ was addressing the Sahaba and he was talking about the sins and one of the Sahabi, he cried out loud because he remembered his sins. So the other companions, they got upset at him and they started scolding him. Then what are you doing? The Prophet of Allah is talking to us and here you are, you're screaming loudly and you're crying loudly in the middle of his talk. And the Prophet ﷺ stopped everyone. That don't say anything to him. He has done such a tawbah. He has done such a repentance. He has asked Allah for forgiveness in such a way that if his tawbah is distributed among all of you, the sins of all of you will be forgiven by Allah. So sometimes a person makes such a tawbah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all the sins. So Allah says again and again in the Quran that we should leave our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in leaving these sins and may Allah protect us from these sins. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya wal Mursaleen Allahumma inna nas'aluka ilman nafi'a wa amalan mutakabbala wa lisanan zakira wa qalban khashia wa rizqan basia wa shifa'an min kullida wa sallallahu ta'ala ala habibihi Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahim